Oh, this blackjack and poker and the roulette wheel A fortune won and lost on every deal All you need's a strong card and nerve of steel Viva Las Vegas Viva Las Vegas What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and as you can see the topic of this video is creating a pyramid Las Vegas style. So there's that uh, Las Vegas hotel where they have a pyramid which is a hotel and inside there is a casino very Las Vegas, I must admit, and I thought this was an, a cool project. I, I, I never knew how the whole thing was constructed, so I did a little bit of research, so I thought, why not try to reconstruct that in Revit? I haven't done these, like, Revit gameplay videos in a while, and I, they're always fun, they're always interesting, and people always learn something about creating in-place masses, or maybe some creating some interesting buildings in Revit, and just learning a few new tips and tricks on on working in Revit. So that's what this video is going to be all about. That's what I'm going to be modeling. Of course, we're not going to be doing a whole project, just a little introduction on how I would approach on creating the shape and the whole construction of the of the Las Vegas pyramid. So that's what this video is going to be all about. Now, before we get into it, one quick thing, I would like to ask you to like this video and also subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And also, if you're interested in all of the project files, like this pyramid that I'm going to be creating, as well as all of my other Revit project files. I've got over 300 files so far. Check out my Patreon. First a link in the description. There I, I I upload all of my project files and also you can find all of my advanced courses. I've got over 45 hours of content of really high quality advanced Revit topics. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get into the tutorial. Let's get started by starting, of course, a new project. So I'm going to go here into models, go to new, and then I'm going to choose the architectural template for uh, this demonstration. Click OK, and there we go. We're inside of Revit. At this point, we have to model our pyramid, and we're going to be doing that as a piece of mass. Now for this mass it's going to be extremely difficult to model, so let's see how it's done. So we have to go here to component, and then go to load family, and then go into mass, and then go to pyramid, and then just hit open. And click once here, and there we go. And we can't see it. <laughs> and we just have to go here to mask inside, turn on show mask, and now you can see your little pyramid. And just uh, turn off the warning. So there we go, that's how easy it is to create a pyramid mass in Revit. Now of course there's a lot more to be done to adjust it, but just importing the simple piece of geometry, well that's the easy part. Anyways, here when I select this pyramid, you're going to notice that here uh, in the dimensions, we have the dimensions of the pyramid, and they are in the millimeters. Now millimeters uh, make it kind of hard to work with, especially for a large project like this. So what I'm going to do is uh, just go to the Manage tab, and then let's just change the project units into meters. I prefer working in a larger uh, units for a larger projects such as this one. Now we're not going to be doing the full size pyramid, which is about, I think it's uh, 111 meters. So I'm just going to do something that's kind of one third of its size, so the height is going to be set to 33 meters, and then the width and height are going to be 51. And then just hit apply, and there we go, we have our pyramid. Uh, now we also have to add some uh, some opening inside of this, just because that pyramid in Las Vegas isn't really a pyramid, it has well, it's not it's not completely filled, it has a void inside. So let's see how can we create something like that. Now to do so, we need to select this mass, or in this case, this mass is a family, and then go into Edit Family to make some changes to it. And here we go, it opens up like this. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just change the uh, dimensions so they fit a bit better. So let's go here to uh, Family Types, and then let's... Okay, again, we have to change the units. So go to Manage, Manage Project Units, and let's set this to meters. Again, hit OK, OK again, there we go. Now go back into Create, go to Family Types to change these default dimensions. And again, let's do 51, 
then we have height which is 33 then we have the depth which is 51 hit apply okay there we go we have our pyramid now the next step is going to be making that opening so i'm going to go here and set the work plane and let's set it to level one and then let's just create a simple rectangle now make sure to check draw on work plane so uh, you don't accidentally draw on a different surface. Now once we have a rectangle here on the ground, select it and then you use the uh, the tab key or you just select one of the one of the lines and then let's adjust this to something like I don't know, let's do six meters on each side. So this is going to be a small pyramid and then each of these sides or walls is going to be six or seven meters thick and that's going to be well room for our small apartments and things like that so in this case i'm going with six meters now of course the full size tank would have this wall a lot wider so anyways there we go we have six 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 and six meters all around okay that sounds a bit ominous anyways <laughs> let's go to one of the elevations i'm just going to open up any one of these so i'm just let's open up the south elevation and then what you want to do is create another reference plane here somewhere uh, on top near top so once we have this in place let's give it a name let's name it number one and now what I'm going to do is just go into the level one floor plan. Okay, once you're here, you wanna go with a rectangle and then let's create a rectangle on that reference plane one. And just to make it equal on each side, I'm going to go and click on one of these sides and then host it on the other. And as you can see, I'm trying to make it as perfect as possible, just like that. There we go. Hit the escape key a couple of times and let's go back into 3D. Okay, so we have something that looks like this. So maybe go back into the elevation and bring this a bit down. Maybe bring it there. Uh, let's go back into that 3D view one. And now let's reduce the size of it. So let's go to something smaller like, I'm just going to, uh, I want to reduce it equally on all sides. So what I'm going to do is type in 10 here and then select the other side and now type seven. So we kind of shaved off uh, three meters on each side. Again, select this one and again, type in 10 and then select this side and type in seven. So that way you can uh, get rid of three meters on each side. Okay, so now once we have that, you select the top one, you hold the control key, you select the bottom one, and then you go to create form, but instead of clicking here, open up the drop menu, and then let's use the void form option. And there we go, now we have a void inside of our pyramid. Now it might look a bit odd, so what you want to do is just take a look at it from this side, and let's select the uh, top face, and you can bring it down just to make it look a bit better proportioned and I think it looks perfect now. Okay, once this looks correct, what you want to do is go here load to load into project and let's override the existing one and there we go. Now we have an opening inside of our pyramid. Looks perfect. So now let's start adding some uh, model elements. So for the model elements, the first element is going to be, of course, the facade. So I'm going to go here to masking and site, go to curtain system, and then select this side, this side, this side, and this side as well. I go to create system. Wait for a second. There we go. Now the, this system is horizontal. So what I'm going to do is just select the uh, the whole curtain system, go into edit type and let's just switch. So this one will be 1.5 meters, the grid one and the grid two will be three meters. So we haven't really changed the dimensions, so just the, well, just uh, orbited or rotated around by 90 degrees. And as you can see now we have vertical panels and they look much nicer. Next, we have to add some floors in this thing. So let's go to the south elevation, Go here and let's reduce the level two to three meters. There we go. Now I'm going to go to architecture, go to level, use the offset tool and let's give it an offset of three meters. Hit enter and then let's go up once, twice, three, four, five, how many ever times you need to get to the top of this thing. There we go, I think this is enough. Hmm, let's add one more. Anyways, once we have all of these levels in place, let's go back into 3D. You want to select your whole uh, mass. So 
if you can't select it, it's sometimes going to be hard maybe go to the inside and then select it and then go here to the mass floors options you just click once you select the first level you hold the shift key you select the last level and then you check them all and click OK and now as you can see we have some floors in between but if I zoom in these floors don't really have any thickness so to add real floors what you need to do is go to masking and site go to floors and then let's use the uh, let's use the generic 400 one and then you would select all of these go to create floor and there we go now we have those real good thick floors Okay, with this uh, done, let's go back into level one. And here, what I'm going to do is just create a simple uh, wall in the center of this pyramid. So just go to wall, find the center of this line. There we go. And just create a wall like this. Next, I'm going to create a section just in front of this wall. So just like that. There we go. And now uh, you double click the head of the section to open it up. And now we can see this wall. And what you want to do is go into edit profile. Now we want to adjust the profile to the uh, walls of this pyramid, which are, well, the Hulk Hotel. And for that, I'm going to be using the pick lines option with the offset of 0.1 meters. So you go from to this side, you do an offset to the inside, here the same, and the same thing goes on this side. There we go. And then I'm just going to close it off here on top. There we go. Now what you want to do is delete all of these lines, hit the delete, this one as well, extend this to this edge, and then let's use the split element tool to split these two in the middle, hit the escape key a couple of times, and then let's just trim and extend like that. There we go, same thing here, trim and extend, trim and extend, trim and extend. Boy, that's a lot of trimming and extending, but in the end we get something that looks like this. We hit finish and then we get a warning message, which we're going to ignore, of course. Next, let's go into level one, select that wall and let's hit copy. Uh, next, make sure to check multiple and then let's copy it by the value of six meters. So six, hit enter, six, hit enter, six, hit enter. That's enough. Next, let's go into 3D view and we have something that looks like this. So these two are poking out. So let's select it, go into edit type, and now I'm just going to use the align tool to align it to some of these uh, walls or floors inside. So let's go to level six and then align this to level six. Same thing goes with this one. Hit finish. Now it's on the inside. Uh, for this thing, it's the same uh, story. So go into edit type. Now let's see, this one should go up to maybe level, what is it, level four. So what you're, gonna, what you're going to do is go to the align tool, select the level four, then this wall, wall level four, hit finish, there we go. And let's go into level one and select these walls. So you just hold the control key to select the walls. So select all three walls and then let's go with the mirror tool with the pick access option and then find the center line of this wall and there we go now if you go into 3d it almost looks like your project so as you can see we have those walls in the middle let's turn on shade there we go looks really cool so uh, as you can see this is how that uh, pyramid was constructed so you have this construction here you can fit small apartments now of course the real thing is uh, just uh, three times the size so if you want you can build it in full size and uh, that might be cool so anyways this is how I would start building this model now if you want to get this project you can find it on my patreon first link in the description it gets you to that file and also I've got some advanced uh, courses I've got over 45 hours of content so if you want to learn some uh, more advanced Revit topics feel free to check it out first link in the description okay so that's pretty much it thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for any future tutorials make sure to leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day